Hi, I'm Brandon Holbrook. I'm the Children's Formation Coordinator here at St. Raphael the Archangel Catholic Church. We're in the baptismal corner of the atrium. We're going to talk about baptism. Our baptism was such a gift. For many of you all, it happened when you all were babies and you might not remember it. Have you ever wondered when you received the light of Christ? Let's find out. For many years, people walked in darkness. The scriptures tell us that Isaiah prophesied that a great light was coming. Then one day in Bethlehem, Jesus was born, the light of the world. Jesus grew up and was crucified on the cross and died. Now, if that was the end of the story, it'd be very sad, but we know that's not the end of the story. We know that Jesus rose from the dead. He is alive. The light came back. And this time it was brighter and stronger than before because the risen Christ is stronger than death. Now Christ did not come into the world to keep the light for himself. He wanted to share it with us. Your baptism is where you receive the light of Christ. You were given a candle. It was lit from the Paschal candle. Now we know that this risen, the light of the risen Christ in this candle is not just in this one candle. We carry the light of Christ in our hearts. It reminds us of that. At your baptism, Water was also used for you to receive the light of Christ. This is our model baptismal font in the atrium. <clears throat> At baptism, the priest does something pretty special with the water. He pours the water over your head and says these words. I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. On the day of your baptism, you were also given a white garment. You were covered in white because you were covered with the light of Christ. You receive another gift at your baptism through the holy oils. Mm, sacred chrism oil has a beautiful smell. The sacred chrism oil consecrates you as a child of God. Consecrate means to dedicate to holy purpose. God loves you. And he has special plans for your life. And those begin at baptism. These are the items that are used at your baptism when you receive the light of Christ. I want to thank Ms. Holbrook once again for that beautiful teaching of the sacrament of baptism in our beautiful atrium. And as pastor of this great parish, I want to invite you to consider being baptized if you're not, to consider baptizing your children if they've never been baptized. It is here at this baptismal font, the gateway to all the other sacraments. You can't have the other sacraments without being baptized. It is so important that the waters of Christ are poured over your child's head or your head 
so that you can be freed from your original sin and claimed as a child of God. I love saying those words, whether it is over an infant, a child, a teenager, or an adult. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Graces abound in this sacrament. And this is where it starts. Know of our prayers for you. And if there's anything we can do, do not hesitate to let us know. God bless you and your families always.